Hi and welcome back to Joe Talks Cars and welcome to another video. Those of you who are regular viewers of this channel will know that I've had some issues with my Porsche Cayman and in the last video I talked about how I planned on selling the car. As you can see the car's still here. There has been some slight changes to the plan and I just wanted to cover those in this video today. I'm not sure I articulated myself quite as well as I wanted to in my last video so I thought I'd clear up some of the things that I didn't cover and also go through some of the comments that a lot of you left. It's the comments that have really changed everything for me but seeing as though I'm up here on Oliver's Mount Ray circuit where I do most of my videos I thought we'd have a little drive round and I'll talk to you about the plans I've got with the car and what's next for it. when I'm doing sort of drives like this and really build up the revs. It sounds pretty crazy when listen to this now. So anyway, like I said in my previous video, which I did only a few days ago, I've been having lots of issues with the car, chief among which is the oil usage problem. Now this car is burning a lot of oil. The exhaust tips are now very, very black. The problem just only seems to be getting worse at this point. Now, there isn't a lot of hope when you hear that your car's burning oil and you take it into the garage and they confirm what they believe to be bore scoring. It's pretty much end of the road for a car like this because the bills, as I covered in the other video, are absolutely ginormous. I had prices from around 10 to 15,000 pounds and like I said in that video it's not the direction I really want to be going in and what I didn't really clear up in that video was the reasons why I'm not doing it a lot of your comments that people left were all well why don't you just save up why don't you just spend the money if you can't afford a Porsche you shouldn't drive one and that type of thing and it's not that I can't afford to do it it's just that if you consider the £14,000 that I spent to buy the car, you then add a minimum of 10000 on top of that, that's 24000 24000 You could almost buy a PDK Gen 2 3.4S for that. So you can see my problem now. Why would I spend £10,000 on engine rebuild when I could almost, almost just have bought a Gen 2 to start with? and then all of these problems probably wouldn't exist. However, I've had a lot of positive comments for this car. So, so many positive comments. And people just saying, look, you haven't gone to, you've gone to Hartec, fair enough, but I've sent Hartec the pictures from a garage who is a specialist in German cars, not necessarily in Porsches, and he does know his way around a Porsche, but the camera wasn't that great, and the photos are not that great. And according to Hartec, even from the poor photos they saw, they didn't think it was bore scoring. But all three cylinders down one side have got oil in them. So there is something going on. And Hartec did confirm there is something wrong with the car, but they couldn't see any evidence of bore scoring. With that, I kind of, my first thoughts were, I'm just going to sell the car. I can't be doing with this. It's taken away the ownership enjoyment. as like I covered it's... I love owning this car, but the worry that it's going to just go bang one day is a massive issue for me. However, lots of people suggested just go out in it, get it up through the gears, rev it out, and it may just clear up. Well, I'm not really convinced about that, although I have been trying because my thoughts are if the engine is totally knackered, then it's knackered and I'm not really going to make it any worse. I did have some quotes from Rebuy Any Car to take the car off my hands. Let's turn the blowers down. And they offered like decent money for it. It's like 13 and a half thousand. When you consider that some of these cars are going for about 18, it's not that great, but it would get me out of the car. And yes, the car would go out onto the open market and somebody ultimately would end up with a potentially broken Cayman. And 
as bad as that is, I, I feel that I bought this car broken as well and I think you've just got to do your research. I didn't do my research, I didn't have anyone to scope the car before I bought it, so it was my fault and if someone was to do that again then so be it. But I needed to get out of the car. So after a bit of thought and a lot of comments suggesting that I went to a specialist, which isn't actually too far from me, in Leeds called Straza. So they specialise in Porsches. They've rebuilt a number of your cars, the people that watch this channel, they've rebuilt a number of the cars. And I think it's probably worth one last throw of the dice to see exactly what's wrong with this car. So this Saturday, I am taking the car through to Leeds. They're gonna have the car for a couple of hours and have a good look and try and work out what is going on because those photos weren't clear enough and it didn't show any bore scoring. So what could it be? I think I need to rule out bore scoring and I need to rule out some major engine issues and try to find out exactly what's happened and try to get the car back on the road, essentially. So I'm taking it to them on Saturday and they're gonna have a car for a couple of hours and try and find out what on earth is going on with it. Lots of people have suggested things in the comments, things that could be potentially wrong with it that are not too bad. Other things are quite bad. Um, and the worst case scenario is an engine rebuild. But I'm gonna wait until Saturday before I make a final call on what exactly happens to this car. So to answer anyone's question out there and anyone that feels like this channel is going to move away from Porsche Caymans and Porsches, because I was quite vague on what car I wanted, I did lose quite a few subscribers, so a few of you decided I wanted to watch the channel for the Cayman. You don't watch this channel for me because I'm not very interesting. It's the car you're watching it for. So I did lose a few subscribers, which was a real big shame because the only thing I would ever replace this Porsche Cayman with is another Porsche Cayman. So that is the other option. So I take the car on Saturday to Straza. They come back and tell me that the engine is totally knackered and it's going to take about 15 grand to fix. I will not be doing that work. I will be getting the car and selling it through We Buy Any Car and getting rid. I will then use that money, along with my savings, to go out and buy a Generation 2 car. Or even a 2.7, I have considered a 2.7 also. But, on a brighter note, they turn around and tell me that, yeah, there, are, there is a little bit of engine damage or there's something that they can repair and the bill is going to be five or six thousand then I'll be doing it because there's enough equity in this car to warrant spending that kind of money on it. Anyone that's looked at the classified ads recently, eBay, Auto Trader will see these cars are going for really really good money at the moment. Whether that is the used car price is all rocketing up or not, they're still worth good money and the cost of rebuilding them has not increased so it makes sense that if the bill is five or six thousand, then I should just go for it. Let's hope that it is actually none of that, and it's actually a cheap fix. We've got to stay positive, right? It could be something cheap, and in which case, I'll be getting that done, and then booking it straight in for an exhaust, and treat the car to lots of lovely upgrades, which I want to do to it. Because that is part of the other issue, really. If I spend 12, 15,000 pounds on my engine, it's going to take years to save up any more money to get an exhaust on it, to get um, the paintwork sorted out, to get the wheels done, and I'm not really going to want to do all of that because I'll have already spent more than the value of the car just getting it running. So that's the problem with it really. My intention with this car was always just to modify it and enjoy it, and putting an exhaust on it is a lot more fun than just having your engine put back together, isn't it? So. Let's hope it's nothing too crazy and I can get back on with my modifications that I've planned on doing to it and get back on with the road trips and everything that I want to do with the car. In the meantime, I'm just going to be driving it very steady to and from work. I mean, I have been sort of trying to keep the revs high on it and see if that clears it up. It doesn't appear to. Um, it's still guzzling oil and the exhaust tips are just so black now. It's kind of ridiculous. It's not that I haven't washed the car, it's just they are so black now. Way worse than they ever were, so we need to get to the bottom of it, basically. So, in short, it is not the end 
of this Cayman on the channel. It's not the end of a Cayman on the channel, regardless of what happens on Saturday, but I just wanted to update everyone on my plans with the car. They have since changed due to the overwhelming support on my channel, and I thank every single one of you for that, because it really has cheered me up, and it's made me want to keep the car. A lot of you have actually said it's, it's pretty obvious you do love the car, so why not spend the money and uh, get it fixed? And you're totally right. So anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. If you have, if you can give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already for plenty more videos on this car to come. Until next time, bye.